Hello students. Good morning. Welcome to another session of maths. Now, today what we are going to do? Yes, we are going to continue our chapter number 2, number work. But with the new topic. Okay, today we are going to do part 6. And what is our topic? Yes. Our topic is the expanded form of a number. What is our topic? Our topic is the expanded form of a number. Now let us see what is the expanded form of a number. Now see on your screen, on top, which number can you see? Yes, 824. What is the number? Number is 824. Now, how many hundreds or how many tens and how many units are there in 824? Yes, tell me. In 8, how many hundreds? 8 hundreds. Correct. And how many tens? Yes. Think fast. 2 tens. And unit? 4. So, 824 means 8 hundreds. 2 tens and 4 unit. 824 means 8 hundreds, 2 tens and 4 unit. This means that 824 is equal to, how we are going to write this 824 in expanded form? How we are going to write? See. First we are going to write for 8, we are going to write 800. Okay. For 2, we have to put first a plus sign. Okay. Then for 2, we are going to write as 20. Because 2 is in tens place. Okay. Then 4 is in unit place. So we are going to write unit place as a single number. Same the number which is written. So our expanded form of 824 will be 800 that is 800 0, 0, plus 20 that is 20 and plus 4. So it will become 824. Now let's see the next. Now in the number 497, 4 is at the 100 place. Okay, 4 is at the 100 place. And which number is at the tens place? Correct, 9. And which number is at the units place? 7. So, in the number 497, 4 is at the hundreds place, 9 is at the tens place and 7 is at the units place. Therefore, 497 means, how we are going to write? 400, that is 400 0, 0, plus 90, that is 90, plus unit number will be same, 7, okay? Now similarly, 407 is written as 400 plus 0 plus 7. Now here see, 400 for 4 stands for 100 only. Okay, so we are going to write for 4, we are going to write 100. Then for 0, we are copy, we will write 0, same. Tens, in tens, there is no number, there is 0, so we are going to write plus 0. Then for unit, we are going to write plus 7. So, a number will be 400 plus 0 plus 7. The number will be given to you. You just have to expand it into 10, 100, 10 and units. Okay. Now, write the number from its expanded form. Now, see what number we have on our screen. Yes, we have 400. 0, 0. That is 400 plus we have 20. That is 20. Plus we have 5. Okay. So how we are going to write now this is an expanded form. And we have to write the number of the expanded form. It is expanded. Okay. We have to write the 100 tens and units is expand in its expanded form. Now we are going to write the number. How we are going to write now see. For 400 we are going to write 4. Okay. For 20 we are going to write 2. That is 2 tens. Then for 5 units we are going to write only 5. Okay. So what is our number? 425. Okay. The expanded form of 
400 plus 20 plus 5 is 425. <coughs> now, write the expanded form of the following numbers. Now, here is 998. Okay? What is the number? 998. Now, we are going to write the expanded form. C. For 900, we are going to write 900. Okay? Then, we will put a plus sign. Then, for 98, we are going to write 90 plus, we are going to write 8. So, the number is 900 plus 90 plus 8. So, what number we get? 900 plus 90 plus 8. Now, let us see the next number. 3, 4, 34. What is our number? 3, 4, 34. We have to write the expanded form. So, first for 3, we are going to write as 30. 3, 0, 30. Then, we will put a plus sign to separate the number 4. And then, we are going to write 4. So, 30 plus 4 is equal to 34. So, the expanded form of 34 is 30 plus 4. Okay. Now, let us see the next. 287. Our number is 287. That is 287. Now, two num no, number 2 is on which place? Yes, it is on 100 place. So, we are going to write 2 as 200. Okay. Then, we will put a plus sign to separate the tens and units. Now, the next number is 8. So, 8 is in tens place. So, we are going to write as 80 for 8. Then, again, plus. Then, what is our unit number? Number 7. So, what number we get? 200 plus 80 plus 7. That is 280. 7. Okay. Now next. 5, 3, 4. What is our next number? 5, 3, 4. How we will read it? 534. How we are going to read? 534. So now 5 stands. 5 is in which place? 100 place. So we are going to write as 500. Okay. Then for 3, what we are going to write? First, we are going to put a plus sign. Then for 3, what we are going to write? Yes, we are going to write 30 because 3 is at tens place. Then for 4, we are going to write unit place 4. Okay, so our number is 500, 500 plus 3030 plus 4. So it becomes 534. Now, see the next. Now, write the number from its expanded form. Now, here, the expanded form is given and you have to form the number. Okay. So, see the first number. What it is written? 700. Zero, zero, that is 700. Plus 0. Plus 5. So, how we are going to write the number? Let us see. Now, for 700, we are going to write the number 7. Okay. 4, 0, that is in tens place. So, we are going to write 0. Then for 5, that is in unit place, we are going to write 5. So, our number is 705. 705. So, what is the expanded form we have made from, from what we have made the number? 505, five, 705. 700 plus 0 plus 5 equals to 705. Now, let us do the next. 30 plus 9. What it is written? 30 plus 9. Now, see here it is no 100 number. Okay. Here no 100 number is given. Only tens and unit. Okay. So, how we are going to write? For 30, we are going to write as 3. Plus, after that what number? Unit. Unit is a single number. So, single digit number we are going to write as 9. So, 3, 9, what it will be? 39, correct. 3, 9, 
39. So 30 plus 9 equals to 39. Now the next 200 plus 1010 plus 1. What it is written? 200 200 plus 10 that is 10 plus 1. Now here how we are going to make the number let us see. For 200 what we are going to write? Yes only 2. For 10 now 10 plus 1 is what? 11. So for 10 we are going to write 1 then for 1 we are going to write 1. So our number is 211. Okay what is our number? 211 that is 211. Now our next topic is place value. Now what is place value? Now we have seen the expanded form. Now we will see the place value. What is place value? The value that a digit has according to its place in a number is called its place value. What is place value? The value that a digit has according to its place in a number is called its place value. Let us see. Now which number is this the expanded form? Which number? Now see the number. It is 400, 400 plus 4040 plus 7. So which number can be formed? We can see. For 400 we will write 4. For 40 again we will write 4 and 7 will be written unit. So 4, 4, 7. What is our number? 447. So which number? Is this the expanded form of 447? Now the next. Now 800. 800 zero plus 5050 plus 3 is the expanded form of the number what? For 800 we are going to write 8. For 50 we are going to write 5. For 3 we are going to write 3. So the expanded form of the number 800 plus 50 plus 3 is 853. Now in this number, in 853, the place value of the digit 8 is at the 100 place. So 8 into 100 is 800. 8 into 100 is 800. 800 plus 50 plus 3. Now here the place value of 5 at the tens place is 5 multiplied by 10. That is 5 tens are 50. Okay, 5 tens are 50. The place value of 3, that is plus 3 is written. See on the top. So the place value of 3 at the unit place is 3 into 1. That is 3 ones are 3. Okay. Now see, the place of a digit determines its value. Now see there, on top it is written HTU. That is 100 tens and unit. Now in 100 place, what is the number? That is the number 3. And what will be the value of 3 in 100 place? Yes, very easy. It will be 300. And in tens place, what is the number? Number 9. So what will be the value of 9 in tens place? Yes, it will be 90. And unit place, the number is 4. So what will be the value of 4 in units place? Correct, it will be 4. Now see the next number. First on top see it is written HTU that is 100 tens in unit. In 100 place number 2 is there. So what will be the value of 2? The place value of 2 will be 200. Then T it will be then again 2 number is there. Okay number 2 is written in tens place. So what will be the value of 2? It is in tens place. So it will be 20. Then in unit place again it is written 2. So, the value of 2 will be in unit place. 2 only. Understood? Now, we will write the place values of the underlying digits in the following number. See, what is our number? Our number is 919. That is 919. Okay? But, which number is underlying? Yes, number 9. And number 9, the digit which is underlined is in which place? From your left hand side which place? Yes. 100 place. So what will be the value, place value of that underlying digit? 
correct it will be 900 what will be the value of 9 it will be 900 understood now the next now 2 0 which number is underlined here which number is underlined number 0 so what is the value of 0 now here see here no 100 number ok here is only 2 digit number there is no 3 digit number so no 100 place number ok only tens and unit so 0 is in units place so what will be the value of 0 it will be 0 only ok because it is in units place and units place we write the same number now see the next 349 that is 349 what is the number 349 now which number is underlined which digit is underlined yes correct 9 but you have to see which place count 100 from your left hand side 100 tens unit 3 is in 100 place 4 is tens place and 9 is unit. So again what we are going to write? Yes, we are going to write the same number 9. What we are going to write? We are going to write the same number 9. Okay. Now let us see the next. Now here I have given an activity for you. You have to write the expanded form of the following numbers. This I will do with you but you have to again do it in your one number notebook okay for practice now see the write the expanded form of the following numbers now what is our first number it is 1 3 13 so what will be our expanded form of 13 how you are going to write yes we are going to write 10 plus and then 3 so 10 plus 3 is 13 now 1 is in tens place so that will become 10 and 3 is in unit place so we are going to write 3. Okay it is 2 digit number. Now the next. Now the next number is 301 that is 301. How we are going to write the expanded form of 301? First we are going to write for 3 we are going to write as 300. Okay then we put a plus sign. For 0 that is in tens place we are going to write 0. And again we are going to put one plus sign. For 1 that is in unit place we are going to write as 1. So our number will be 300 plus 0 plus 1. Correct. Now what is our next number? Number 800. So how we are going to write 800? See first we are going to write the value of 8. From your left hand side that is in a hundred place. So we are going to write 800 for 8. Then we are going to write plus. Then for 0 for tens. And for unit also we are going to put a 0. Okay. So our number will be 800 plus 0 plus 0. Understood? Now the next. Now write the number from its expanded form. Now what is our number C? 100, 100 0, 0, plus 50 plus 6. So how we are going to write this number? It is given in expanded form. Now we have to write the number. So for 100 we are going to write 1. For 50 we are going to write 5. For 6 we are going to write as 6. So our number is 156. Correct. Now what is the next number? 40 plus 4. So we are going to write here it is 2 digit, no hundreds. So we are going to write for 40, we are going to write 4. And again for unit 4, we are going to write 4. So 40 plus 4 is equal to 44. Correct. Now let us see the next. Write the place value of the underlined digit. 2, 6, 9. Okay, we have to write the place value of the underlined digit. Now, which number is underlined? Yes, number 6. But 6 is in which place? Let us count from our left hand side. 2 is in 100 place. 6 is in tens place. And 9 is in unit place. So, 6 is in tens place. So, we are going to write the value of 6. So, what is the value of 6? 
Yes, correct. Six zero sixty because it is a tens place. Now the next number that is five hundred and eighty eight. Now which number is underlined? Yes, number five. So we have to write the place value of number five from your left hand side. What is the place value of five? Correct. It is five hundred. What is the place value of the underlined digit five? It is five hundred. Okay. So for, with this, we finished our session of number work. See you in the next session with a new topic. Till then, bye and see you soon.